Do you not conform to this world, man? Quit letting the world tell you how to think. Remember, it's all about programming. Uh, it's the battle is for your mind. Right? The Lord wants your mind. The Bible says worship him or love him with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and all your strength. Okay? So Satan likewise wants our minds. And we have a tendency to want to go back into Egypt like our ancestors. Egypt representing the spirit of this world. That's why in 1 John chapter 2 it tells us, Love not the world, neither the things that are in this world. If any man had the love of the world, the love of the God is not in him. The love of God is Jesus Christ. Okay, Romans chapter 8. All right. Tells us that the, the love of God is in Christ Jesus. All right. This is what the image of Jesus is what we must be transformed into. That was his whole purpose in Genesis chapter 1. Let us make man after our image, after our likeness. That likeness is, is Jesus Christ. Okay? All right? God didn't have an image until Jesus Christ came into the earth. Okay? Born of a woman. All right? His blood was of, of God. It was pure blood. So Jesus didn't come through Adam and Adam's blood. You know, he he came and his blood was pure. OK, that's why he qualified to be our Lord and our Savior. His blood had no sin, no contamination, no corruption. Adam's blood had corruption, Adam and Eve. OK. Uh, the flesh was formed by his word through the Holy Ghost. OK. Jesus was conceived of the Holy Ghost. I know the Hebrew Israelites have a, a doctrine that uh, Joseph and Mary had sex. Well, that would have put Christ uh, in contaminated blood. That would have put him in uh, Adam's blood. Joseph had Adam's blood. Christ was a new federation. He was the Godhead. He was a new root. Okay, Adam's root is corrupted which is the heart. Uh, Adam and Eve fell. Okay, they fell from the grace of God. All right? God put them in the in the garden. All right? And they had it made. They had rest. They had peace. They had protection. All right? In Genesis. It wasn't until they fell that the, the, the earth was cursed. The ground was cursed. Through Adam and Eve, um, partaking of the forbidden fruit, right? The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That's what this world is. That's what Satan desires to to keep us conformed to corruption. You know, you watch the uh, the news or sports, and you hear all the sports commentators. They um, they are pro LGB. TQ and um, they can't say nothing negative about it. you lose your job you know, these people are bought with a price likewise they have sold their their soul to Satan so they must show allegiance to Satan and bow down so everyone that most, the people you see on television uh, are sold out man okay so you shouldn't seek that that uh, that course the Bible says that wide and broad is the way that leads to destruction. You know, in Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 on down, but straight and narrow is the is the path that leads to life. Few there be that find it. You got to be upright. The scriptures, salvation makes you upright. You have the mind of, of God. That's what we, um, we must obtain, the Christ mind. You know, living above this world, living above corruption, living above lust, living above evil. OK. We pray that he keeps us from the evil. Right. And we must remain unspotted from this world. It's programming. 
you know. When our forefathers came out of ancient Egypt, we went into the wilderness and it was a little rough because the Lord was teaching us to fast, you know. And they went places, you know, and wasn't no food, wasn't water. The Lord was going to feed them, but he likewise was teaching us to fast. You know, we took the king. This is the king's highway. It's a little rough, you know. Uh, but remember, the, the road is wide and broad. It may be easier, but it's the wrong path. It leads to destruction, damnation. Everybody's doing it. You may uh, don't want to be persecuted for the word's sake or righteousness sake or for the name of Jesus Christ. So you, you take that wide and broad road. You blend in with everybody else. That's what you see on television. Okay. These people have, uh, are antichrist. Okay. And many antichrists are in the world. First John chapter two tells us. All right. That's how you know it's the last days. All right. So whose report will you believe? To believe the report of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. you're going to be a loner. He's, you have to overcome loneliness. You have to overcome appetite, you know, which is fasting. You know, you have to overcome uh, self, which which is, is its own God. You know, under the law, we had self-righteousness. We were uh, under the law of Moses. That's the Mosaic law was our own works. It was we were doing the works by our hands. So you Hebrew Israelites that's teaching the Mosaic law and uh, the, the works of, of the Mosaic law, that's self-righteousness. Scribes and Pharisees had that. That's why they missed Jesus. They couldn't see uh, the grace of God. They couldn't see the mercy of God in his in, in the Lord Jesus. Okay. Right? So uh, they continue in the law of uh, of works. If you continue to do that to this very day, you're saying that Jesus did not finish the work. He finished the work when you get to John 17, start with verse one through five. He said, I finished the works you gave me to do. Okay. Now I'm ready to return. He said, uh, restore me with the glory that I had with you before the world was. It was well, before the world was, there was one God. He was in his rightful place. I mean, he became son of God just as a sacrifice. So he went back to being the God he had. He went back to, to the throne. Right? And you have to see him on his throne. In order for you to know that he is God, you have to see him on it. That's Daniel chapter 7. Son of God and, and the Father are one and the same. Read uh, John 5, 18. That's why they wanted to crucify Jesus Christ. Because he said he was a son of God. They said, you being a son of God, you make yourself God. You being a man, make of yourself God. This is our report. You and me must be transformed into the image of our God. We must become even equal with our God. And not be ashamed to say that. This is Matthew, uh, excuse me, Philippians 2.5. Philippians 2 5 let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God this is what glorifies him see when you saying oh we're not equal with God we're only human we all fall short of God you're not glorifying his name you're causing his name to be blasphemy that's that Christian level of that earthly level they don't resurrect from the dead. They don't ascend up into the heavens. That's the Christ mind, is ascension. This is what pleases our Father. You and I must ascend above the earth into the heavens. That's where our heart must be. Our mind must be. Our affections must be in the heavens. Read Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. Colossians 
three, one, and two. All right? Our affections must be above. Love God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. This going to take dedication, passion, sincerity. You're going to have to go hard, speak his word, meditate in his word. These are the last days. We have to soldier ourselves up if we're going to make it. Sing unto his name. Praise his name daily. Rejoice, Paul kept telling us. Again, I say rejoice. Rejoice in him. His finished works. His finished works. Mosaic law, you're saying his works are not finished. you still wearing your fringes. You're saying his works are not finished. you still uh, uh, trying to, what you say, uh, to the best of your ability. No, you got to give the Lord all your heart and soul and he will reveal his finished works to you. He will reveal his grace and love to you. It's about revelation. It's about him revealing himself. That's what salvation is. When you get to Matthew 16, like verse 16, he asks his, his disciple, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? And they were saying, oh, Jer some say you Jeremiah, some say Elijah or one of the prophets. Then he asked Peter personally. See, this is a personal relationship. He asked you personally, Peter, who do you say I am? Peter said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God, the anointed. You and I must become the anointed sons and daughters of God. The anointed, the Christ. This is the Christ man, the anointed man, which is not carnal, separate from sinners. Hebrews 7, 26, separate from sinners. This is the perfection level, and it is obtainable. Remember, all things are possible through Christ Jesus. So whose report will you believe? Stop listening to the world. We got to turn that television off. We got to get off these videos and this entertainment, these sports, and, and go deeper into our Lord and our Savior, into His truth, into His trans. He got to take us to Mount Transfiguration, Mount Zion. He's got to. This is where we worship Him in the high places. He's in the high places. If you don't see Jesus' highness, you don't see him exalted, you're never going to get there. You're never going to get there. Because you Hebrew Israelites and Christians and these religions of the world keep him as a man. They keep him, like at Christmas, a baby in the manger. They keep him, like it says in Psalm 62, verse 4, they cast him down from his excellency. Jesus Christ is great and greatly to be praised. He's in the high place. He's in the heavens of heavens. He's in the holy place, the holies of holies. And he is our way there. He is the path. He is the sanctuary. Whose report will you believe? Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Think it not robbery to be equal with God. This is growth. This is ascension. This is what pleases our God. Till next time.